Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just want to show you how I want you to do your homework. So if you take a look on page 20, number 8, I think I asked you to do, it's asking you to determine the slope of the tangent when x equals negative 2 to the function y equals 3x squared. Now notice I wrote this down differently. There's a lot more words in the textbook. You're welcome to write out all the words, but this is what the question's asking for, the slope of the tangent when x equals negative 2 of y equals 3x squared. Well, the first thing I want you to know is that, hey, let's not get too fun, let's not get too upset here. y is the same as f of x, okay? So there's no real deal here. The first thing that we need to do is know that our definition, the slope of the tangent at any value of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, at this particular question, our x value is negative 2. So it's the limit as h approaches 0 of f of negative 2 plus h minus f of negative 2 over h. That is the first thing we're going to come up with. Okay, that is our definition. So now, our function is 3x squared, so it's going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of 3, negative 2 plus h squared minus 3, negative 2 squared over h. Notice if I apply the limit right off the bat, I'll get 0 over 0, which is not a good thing. So its limit as h approaches 0 of 3, 4, minus 4h plus h squared. That's going to be 4, so minus 12 over top of h. This is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of 12 minus 12h plus 3h squared minus 12 over h. That's going to leave me with the limit as h approaches 0. Common factor out an h. I'm going to get an h. Oh, I can common factor out a 3 too, but you know what? I'm not going to just because negative 12 plus 3h over top of h. The h's will reduce, leaving me start the limit. Ring did -di it ding, ring did -di it ding. So this is going to go to 0, which means that my answer is going to be negative 12, which I believe is what you'll find to be the answer in the back. And they asked for the slope of the tangent. So the slope of the tangent at x equals negative 2 equals negative 12 for this particular function. That's the way to do your homework. Good luck to you. Get it all done, and I'll see you tomorrow.